And now we're going to turn to baseball, the first of the Major League American sports to officially kick off their season. Fans and players are gearing up for the first games tonight, but it won't look or even sound like the national pastime we're used to. We'll Reeve outside at City Field, home of the New York Mets, to break down the big game changers. Good morning, Will. Good morning, Michael. Normally in late July, we wouldn't be talking much about regular season baseball, but fans and players alike are excited and more than a little anxious as the pandemic shortened baseball season begins today, it's anything but normal. This morning, home of the 01, and this it's opening day in July. After a 119 day delay, Major League Baseball is back, but no peanuts, no Cracker Jacks, no fans in the stands. Instead, cardboard cutouts filling seats. Simulated crowd noise from a video game, the only sounds beyond the crack of the bat. I love the uniqueness of what teams are doing to try to have something instead of empty seats in the stands. To ensure social distancing, players will be spread out from the dugout to nearby seats when not out on the diamond. Teams staying on lower floors of hotels to avoid elevators, temperature checks as they enter the ballpark, no handshakes, no spitting, not even sunflower seeds, masks mandatory everywhere but on the field where they are optional, all in the name of safety. Unlike the NBA where players are resuming their season in their confined campus after a lengthy hiatus, MLB teams will be traveling but with strict protocols in place. It's really opening up the entire league to a lot more vulnerability because of the amount of travel within their region. I mean, I think it's a very strong possibility that we don't see the full 60 games. The New York Yankees making the trip to Washington, D.C. to face the World Series champion Nationals with hopes of a safe startup. Nationals star pitcher Max Scherzer speaking ahead of the game. This is what it's going to be. This is 2020 baseball, so you got to keep a smile on your face and just embrace it and have fun with it. It'll be a double header tonight on ESPN. The Yankees down in D.C. kicking off at 7 Eastern. Then the Giants visiting the Dodgers out in L.A. In Washington, D.C., Dr. Anthony Fauci throwing out that ceremonial first pitch, Michael. It'll be something to see. Yeah, Opening it will, day. It it's will here. be something to see. I know he is nervous. Thank you so much, Will, for that. Pete Alonzo of the New York Mets, who'll start his season at City Field, is joining us now live from the stadium this morning. Pete, thank you so much for joining us. We got to say we're happy baseball is back, and a lot of precautions are being taken while on the field this season. But face covering, they're optional for the players. Have you considered wearing one? Yeah, I've considered one, but I, I trust that our environment is probably one of the safest working environments in the world. I am so, so happy with all the protocols and regulations that are that are uh, in place. So I'm extremely happy with how the operations have gone. So I, I feel safe and on the field, um, I, I feel fine without a mask because I know all of us get tested every two days. And I know that the guys in the bubble, quote unquote, um, are, are safe as well. And you, you say you feel comfortable, you feel safe, but you, you play first base one of the best in the game, mm -hmm. but you, you're probably going to come into close contact with, with a lot of players out there be, being a first baseman. So do you have any health concerns? And is there anything that you could think of that could make you leave the field? Well, we have hand sanitizer stations all throughout the dugout and obviously staying six feet away when we can. Like that's obviously ideal, but hopefully, uh, hopefully our pitchers get uh, get some double plays and uh, socially distance those guys back to the dugout and strike them out. So uh, ho hopefully our guys, our guys uh, are dominant on the hill. Yeah, good pitching to make make it a little bit easier for you. But what about no fans in the stands? Just going to be some cutouts. They're going to pipe in crowd noise. So what's that going to be like for you guys? Well, at every stage in, uh, along the way, a major leaguer has to go through the minor leagues and certain leagues draw better than others. And uh, some leagues have little to no fans. So at some point or other in a, in a guy's career, we, we know what it's like without uh, playing with people in the stands, just because like when you see a big leaguer playing these big stadiums, you think, oh, wow, like it's always been like that. But for all of us, it hasn't necessarily been the case because you got to earn your stripes in the minor leagues, uh, not playing in front of people. So for the most part, because there are some stadiums that draw real well, but uh, there's some that, that quite frankly don't. <laughs> yeah, 
And, and I know as an athlete, you're used to people doting on you, but you posted a video of you surprising and doting on some healthcare heroes. You were thanking them for all of their efforts that they've gone, that they've been through during this pandemic. And why has that been so important to you? Uh, for me, I, I just want to uh, help the people who have, uh, who are going above and beyond in their communities. And uh, I guess, I guess that kind of uh, inspired inspired me and uh, my fiance. We actually started a foundation called Homers for Heroes, and we're doing this really, really exciting campaign this season. So we're going to be recognizing 60 heroes in 60 days just because even though there's been an absolutely in in incredible things, uh, it, it's been life changing. There's things we don't know how things are going to be at the at the outcome of this year. There's been things. It's been unique. There's been social change. There's been, uh, I guess, regular life change, especially with these, with the pandemics. And you don't hear like enough positive stories. And I guess our foundation, we want to recognize the everyday heroes whose stories are, are in the shadows. And we want to help bring those people out to light and just broadcast their, uh, their positive stories, their, uh, their incredible people. And I, I'm just so excited to be doing this uh, 60 heroes in, in 60 games. I, I'm so, so excited. And we're doing some absolutely incredible work at Homeless for Heroes. So check us out. And uh, and thank you to everybody who is in the healthcare industry, the sanitation industry, who have kept all of us safe during this, um, during this incredible, incredible, unique time. So thank you to everybody uh, who has helped uh, uh, get us to where we are now. And, and Pete, we want to thank you. We want to thank you for everything you do off and on the field and, and good luck this season. Go Mets. All right, my friend, thank you so much for that. And you can see the first two games of this historic season tonight on opening night exclusively on ESPN. It's a doubleheader starting with the Yankees versus the Nationals at 7 Eastern. Then the Giants take on the Dodgers at 10 Eastern. Cecilia, let's play ball. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.